How many people do something they really believe in? Imagine getting up at 4.30 a.m. every morning. Now imagine getting up at 4.30 a.m. and knowing you have to run a marathon. Now imagine that you have to do this day after day for 143 days. This will start to give you some understanding of what it was like for Terry as he pursued his dream to run across the country raising awareness and funds for cancer research. How much would you have to believe in your cause and yourself to test your body like this day after day? Terry believed. He thought he had won his battle with cancer and had a vision to help others. He wanted to show people that there were no limits to what an amputee could do and so began his journey. Every day was unique. Different weather, challenging terrain, a new town, and then another province. Many days it was lonely out there, and then there were the uplifting moments when people came out to meet Terry, cheer him on, and contribute to his cause. What do you think Terry thought about as he ran up and down those lonely stretches of highway every day? Was he deterred by seemingly endless distance, the pain, and the lack of support in the beginning? Terry had hope and courage and was determined to complete his journey. Nothing was going to stop him. With the unfortunate return of his cancer, Terry was forced to abandon his plan and the hope had to be turned over to the Canadian people. It became the responsibility of the people to carry on Terry's mission and carry on we did. For 25 years now, the people have been running to keep Terry's dream alive and this is how we celebrate Terry's legacy.